Hey guys, to draw a piece of art like the Mona Lisa, you need to wait for that special kind of mood called inspiration. And we all know that it's the same with procrastination. For example, when you need to study for that next exam, you need to have to wait for that rare and special kind of mood <laughs> called last minute panic. That's of course just a joke that I like. I used to also be a master procrastinator myself and can really understand because I know that feeling of panicking that you usually get in the last 24 hours before a deadline. For me it was always when that next super important exam was approaching. I just sat there, didn't do what I was supposed to be doing, but also didn't do anything I like. I just mindlessly skimmed through the books that I should be reading. Or watched a video about some health related stuff. So for me it was just a big waste of life when the next exams were approaching. Please write me a comment below what's your main reason for procrastination. I really want to know. But I'm here to tell you. You don't have to wait for that last minute panic attack to kick in. Even if it feels like it. Also I want to let you guys know that this doesn't mean that there is anything wrong with you. Most of the time this quick trick I'm giving you today will fix this forever. It is called the 10 minute rule. And it is a super powerful technique to trick your mind into doing your work. So how does a 10 minute rule work? If you find yourself procrastinating or if there is anything like an upcoming exam where you know you will procrastinate on, you simply start but only for 10 minutes of focused non-distracted work, not more, not less. This works because 10 minutes aren't intimidating to your unconscious mind and you usually procrastinate when your unconscious mind thinks about all that needs to be done which of course can be frightening. I can even prove this to you right now. Just think of one task that you will have to do in the next weeks or months to come that you will likely procrastinate on. Like studying for an exam, writing a paper, starting a business, investigating for an investment or just anything that will take away some of your precious time. Now watch out how these two sentences will feel very different. You have to work for 8 hours today and you have to start now. And just start for 10 minutes and if you don't feel like it just stop. The second one most likely feels a lot better because it doesn't freak you out and puts you under pressure. And this works so great because before we start anything work related we usually perceive it as way worse than it really is. But it becomes easy once you get into the groove. Imagine your mind has a train. It takes a lot of energy to start and to get to full speed. But once a train is running it's hard to stop. It takes a lot of energy to stop it. Additionally, it doesn't take a lot of energy to keep it running. And the 10 minute rule takes away the hard part of getting your mind to start. I for myself don't set a timer when I start. I definitely take a look at my watch simply because I want to be able to tell when the 10 minutes are over. But I don't set a timer because a timer is a distraction and distractions are pure poison when it comes to productivity. I read it sometimes takes up to 30 minutes to get back to the same level of concentration after you've seen or heard a simple notification. Not setting a timer also enables me to forget about time, which I like a lot. It happens so often that I start working for 10 minutes, get into the groove, get into the flow state and don't realize that I have just been working for 90 minutes. That's a great feeling guys. Also it reminds me every time that I just can't trust my feeling that I was having before I started. But what do you do if the 10 minutes are over and you still don't feel like continuing? It is quite simple and I think you will like the answer. You just stop, you don't continue. Because you keep the promise you did with your unconscious mind. After this it is at the time to actually set your timer. Set it to 30 or even 60 minutes depending on how you are feeling. And start again for 10 minutes when the timer goes off. Even if you feel like not continuing all day, you will have done one or two hours of work. 
simply because the 10 minutes will add up over the course of the day. And one or two hours of work is way more than most people that procrastinate all day long do. The trick is that you just need to start a couple of days earlier than usual. So that you have the luxury of saying, no I don't want to continue, as often as you really don't feel like it. And I got even more good news for you guys. In the meantime, between those 10 minutes of work, you are not allowed to do anything work related. Because doing something work related will keep you in a grey zone. Burn your willpower won't allow you to unplug and recover. Which is super important especially in those times where you are under stress. In the time between those 10 minutes, you should do something that is completely unrelated to your work. Even if it is playing video games or watching TV. Everything will be better than mindlessly skimming through that book you should be reading. And if you found this video because you are procrastinating on something specific with a deadline right now and it is too late to use this method, I got some less good news for you guys. I've created a short video called Artificial Motivation, which I will link in the description below that will definitely help you even if it is too late. So guys, share this video, save a procrastinator and make sure to subscribe for more. Thanks a lot guys and see you next time.